Can you imagine what I'm here for to, prom to promote? Those of you that pass the, uh, the Rotary Literacy Test will know what I'm here to promote. Over 500 years ago, ships set sail from this port on voyages of discovery, charting new sea routes to Africa, Asia, and the Americas. The Portuguese spread their culture throughout the world. They grew into a prosperous maritime power, and Lisbon emerged as the gateway to the world. Built on seven hills overlooking the picturesque Tagus River, Lisbon is one of Europe's most visually striking capitals. After a devastating earthquake in 1775, the city was rebuilt on a grid system. It is easy to navigate and retains its old world charm and relaxed pace. One of the best ways to discover Lisbon is to get lost in its lovely, winding back streets. Take a tram and ride through the historic city center and the colorful neighborhoods with their charming, narrow, cobblestone streets and alleys. Relax at the Café Brasileira, immortalized by 20th century poet Fernando Pessoa. Treat yourself to the famous custard pastries and coffee. Lisbon has a lot to offer the modern traveler. Superb Colombo shopping center accessible by Metro. Visit the Oceanarium, or the many world-class museums located throughout the city. Or just tour the downtown area and take in its striking architecture. The nightlife in Lisbon is among the best in Europe. The night starts at sunset and doesn't slow down until dawn. A good way to get a taste of the city's new energy and spirit is to take a trip along the banks of the Tagus River and through the Park of Nations. Or just relax while taking in the beautiful sights and sounds. If you would really like to get the full experience, you should explore the areas outside of the city. Portugal offers a variety of climates and geographies within a small area. Each region has its own history, music, and cuisine. Just 40 minutes away, you can visit Sintra and its famous castles, and Cascais, a charming fishing village. What's more, within a few hours distance from Lisbon, you can explore the sunny Algarve, the Alentejo wine country, or the mountains to the north. We invite you to join us at the 20 13 Rotary International Convention here in Lisbon, Portugal. Enjoy the warm welcome from your fellow Rotarians and discover Lisbon, the harbor for peace. Thank you, President Tanaka, for that. Uh, very colorful invitation and all of us in this room would love to join you in Lisbon um, to experience the harbor of peace. I'd like to at this time introduce uh, one of my dear friends from Lisbon who is the sitting governor this year and uh, two days ago he completed his last official club visit which according to tradition is his own club um, in his district and he is also the host organizing committee chair. So he has a busy year this year. Um, uh, Luis Miguel Duarte. Good morning. 
I was wondering what peace, Lisbon, and the Rotary International Convention could have in common. And I think they do have something in common. The Rotary International Convention is the place where Rotarians meet every year to see the clubs, district, action groups, fellowships, Rotaract, Interact, RILA, ICC, and so many other projects of Rotary work. It is also the place where we can find the biggest diversity of our organization, where people from very different regions, from very different religions and very different beliefs get together to celebrate Rotary. Lisbon is one of the oldest cities in Europe. Lisbon, as our great poet Camões said, is the land is the land where the sea ends and the sea begins. It's a harbor. It has always been a city and a place where different cultures, different religions, and different people get together for centuries and centuries. So it's like a Rotary Convention every day. And that was why, back in 2009, we choose this team for the Lisbon Convention, Lisbon, a Arbor for Peace. In January 2012, we learned that President Tanaka team was peace through service. So we could not have a better match between the year team and the convention team. So, my dear friends, I invite you all to come to Lisbon, especially the European Rotarians. <laughs> Since the Birmingham Convention in 2009, we won't have a Rotary International Convention in Europe for more than 10 years. Lisbon is a short flight from almost every European city, so please take advantage of that. And don't forget that the first deadline for registration, 15 December, is just coming. So, please resist it. Also, take the opportunity to register to the some left places that we have for a unique event that will be the unforgettable Fado Night. Hosted in the old bullfight arena of the 19th century, completely transformed in a concert hall for a Fado concert with the biggest Fado singer from our days, that is Carmino. But my friends, I would just like to say to you, that wherever the convention is, and this Rotary year will be in Lisbon, the convention is a place for us to find our Rotary moment. The convention is a place where we can see the global network that we do throughout the world. And if we speak about peace and long-lasting peace, I cannot see other organization that Rotary that has 34,000 embassies in 204 countries with 1.2 million goodwill ambassadors that through service above selves make the everyday peace. So come to Lisbon to accomplish peace through service in Lisbon Harbor for Peace. <laughs>